so for today's project I am fixing up this uh, pen display it's basically a monitor that you can draw on and uh, do creative projects with it suffered a bit of an unfortunate accident uh, involving some VR and very fast hands where basically the front got smashed in and after removing the glass shards I could see the LCD underneath was totally fine um, and the pen functionality where it uh, senses the pen apparently that's built behind the screen uh, as opposed to in, into the screen it, or into the glass itself as uh, mobile phones usually do. Um, so I figured I just need a new piece of glass. Um, so I contacted the support. Uh, they basically said, oh, we don't do these repairs. They're too complicated and we also don't sell spare parts. So just bugger off and buy another one, which for a 500 euro monitor, I would say that's a little bit excessive. Uh, so as a last ditch effort, I went and uh, bought a piece of glass cut into size from a local glass dealer. Um, basically, they do glass for window frames and so on. And then I got a uh, kit for replacing car windshields. Uh, it includes this very special glass paint uh, that sticks very well to the glass. And uh, basically that allowed me to do black frame around so it would uh, cover up the glue and kind of the internals around it. And uh, then I used the glue from the kit to just glue the glass on top and that just worked. So here's a little bit of a rundown of that whole process. Uh, it was just kind of fast and dirty and just to kind of give you an idea of how the repairs look like in case you ever might run into issues like this or maybe that's why you watch this video right now. So yeah, here we go. <clears throat> to get out the glass, I used a clothing iron to heat up the glue a little bit more to make it less stiff. So just gently going over and making it warm. I, I don't really have the actual footage of me doing it, but just to give an idea, I basically pried a really thin butter knife in between in here. Basically, I got it out like this. Then I tried to get off all the glue to make it all nice and smooth. Then I marked up the area which the paint should cover. And then we just mask up the area that we want to hide. So this is a special cleaning set. Make sure you also clean the actual LCD as well, so you don't have anything in between. We squeeze it in. The paint of course goes on the inside, so uh, any kind of friction wouldn't get it off. And basically it's gonna be between the glue and the screen. If we were to put too much silicone in here, it can extend onto the screen and just blubber it all around. So it should be a little bit less, so it's not completely uncontrolled. Alrighty, all or nothing. Okay, I need some kind of a better way of doing this. This is really stiff and hard to control compared to normal silicones. This is like super freaking stiff and thick. And I kind of forgot to take off the tape before I started gluing and then I did it in a rush and I also kind of forgot to double check the edges and make sure that they're all nice and clean. So uh, the tape lacked a little bit of a rough edge, uh, but it still works, but I would have preferred to clean it up beforehand. And now... In terms of the feel of the actual glass, as this is no, no special glass, it's just normal window glass, I can see that it has a lot more reflection uh, during daytime or if you have a lot of lights around. I think, I really can't remember well, but I think the original glass was kind of a little bit matte and had more texture to it, uh, while this one definitely has less. If you try to pull your hand around on it, uh, it's a little bit sticky, um, as glass kind of is. Uh, and also the tip, uh, I mean, it doesn't really feel like paper. It really feels like you drawing on glass. 
but then again, I'm guessing the old screen was a little bit like that as well. Uh, but I mean, it works, it's better than nothing. Uh, obviously not as good as the original. I would have loved to have uh, original glass panel from the producer, but they just don't want to do that. So this is the next best thing. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.